Welcome to Career Insights. The Career Insights series features local industry professionals engaged in conversation with students and recent graduates about career planning and job opportunities in Polk County, Florida. I'm uh, Frank Dunn, the Interim Program Director at the Emergency Medical Services Program. I'm just going to go through the uh, steps of what it takes to become uh, a paramedic. So if you go through the the the, uh, the EMS pathway, you have to do EMR to do EMT, and you have to do EMT to do paramedic. So what's left after that is like three or four different courses, and then you end up having your degree. So you're basically forced to do three quarters of it just by getting their certificates that you would have to have to become a paramedic or EMT. Hi, everybody. I'm Susan Watley, and here with me today is Carrie Shapiro, and we're with the Medical Coding Program. Well, the Medical Coding Program is one of our health science programs here at Airside. But we, are, we have one key difference. We don't engage in direct patient care, meaning we don't interact with patients in person, we don't touch them, we don't engage in their care. We're actually behind the scenes and we're many times referred to as the business side of healthcare. The reason is that any time a patient has a healthcare encounter that involves being paid by insurance, medical coding is involved. So medical coding is the way everybody gets paid. So we're really a key and important part of the healthcare team. To see the full Career Insight segment, please visit Polk Vision's YouTube channel.